So let's have a look at superannuation funds now. With a superannuation fund, it's the largest type of managed fund in Australia and it accounts for almost 20% of all assets held by financial institutions. And of superannuation funds, the self-managed super funds have the largest amount of assets within the superannuation sector. So what is superannuation? Well, since 1992, it has become compulsory for employers to pay a percentage of an employee's salary, provided they earn over a certain amount per month, into a superannuation fund, which will then be saved for retirement. Now, the current level of superannuation that's paid is 9.5% of wages or salary, provided that you earn more than $450 a month, and that will gradually increase to 12% by 2025. Now because this superannuation is savings for retirement, generally speaking an employee can't withdraw their superannuation money until they retire. So since 1992, if you think about it, Australia's working population has all this superannuation money going into a superannuation fund, which has led to an explosion in the size of funds under management. Different types of superannuation funds involve corporate funds, industry funds, retail funds, small APRA funds and self-managed funds. And as we said before, self-managed funds have most of the assets in the superannuation system. We have rollover superannuation funds. So for example, if you change jobs, you can roll over your superannuation into a new super fund by receiving what's called an illegible termination payment. So basically what happens there is, let's say you change jobs and you want to transfer your superannuation money from your existing super account into a new super account, then this ETP, which is the money from your old superannuation account, will go into your new super fund and then as you start earning money from your new job, then your employer will make superannuation contributions into your new super fund. So all of that money can stay pulled together. We have both defined benefit and accumulation funds. Accumulation funds are the most popular now. So as I said before, if you earn over a certain amount per month, your employer will pay 9.5% of your salary into a superannuation fund. This is called an accumulation based account because the amount of money that you have at retirement in an accumulation based fund will be amount of the contributions plus any earnings from the fund's investments minus any taxes and expenses. And as a part of that accumulation fund, you might have insurance associated with that super fund. Less common now and more common in the past was a defined benefit fund where the amount that you would receive on retirement was based on a formula. So for example, on retirement, if you had a defined benefit fund, you might have been paid a multiple of your final average salary. So there the risk lies with the employer because if the employer is making contributions to help fund your retirement, if those investments don't make enough to provide for your final average salary multiple when you retire, then the employer needs to make good any shortfall. With respect to regulation, there is the Superannuation Industry Act and the Income Tax Assessment Act which cover the operation of superannuation. And one of the things that is good with super is it's concessionally taxed. So it's only taxed at 15% with respect to fund contributions and earnings. With personal income tax, it can be a lot higher than 15%. So that's why we say superannuation funds are concessionally taxed. And generally speaking, the rule is that you can withdraw your funds as a pension or a lump sum tax-free when you hit 60. That may change in the future though.